Welcome to the Game Ramble video review for Sweetest Monster, narrated by me, Dark Cloud. As always, the full text version of this review can be found on the Game Ramble website link below. The TLDR is that Sweetest Monster is a release by Ebihime, which means interesting characters and memorable situations. It's definitely a much darker title than what you might think, but one that kept us hooked right to the very end. At only about 40,000 words, it's slightly shorter than the average visual novel, but the story is good and the price is very reasonable. Anyone looking for something with a bit more substance than the typical light-hearted catgirl visual novels should definitely give this kinetic novel a try. Gameplay receives a 9 out of 10. The story is beautifully written and definitely very memorable despite the lack of choices or branches. Graphics receives a 9 out of 10. The game features only a limited number of character sprites and backgrounds, but they're all great. Sound receives an 8 out of 10. There's no voice acting, but the background music and sound effects are of a very high standard. The overall score for Sweetest Monster is 8.7 out of 10. And now for the full review. There's definitely a trend among visual novel developers to create feel good tales that are filled with fan service and fluff. There's nothing wrong with this, of course, as sometimes it is nice to just escape into worlds with adorable catcalls and light hearted situations. However, anyone who goes into Sweetest Monster, a kinetic visual novel from Ebihime, expecting something like the Nekoparo or Sakura series, is in for a bit of a shock. Yes, this is a title that contains fan service, sexual content and even some outright nudity. Still, each instance actually serves a purpose and is not merely tacked on in a cynical effort to generate more sales. The protagonist of Sweetest Monster is Robin Hawkins, a middle-aged music teacher going through a rough patch. Not only is he drifting further apart from his wife Sally, but also his daughter Melody. After yet another fight with Sally, Robin storms off into the night to clear his head and this is where his world is turned upside down. During his stroll, he encounters a beautiful girl named Belle, who has some mysterious ties to his past. Even stranger, Belle is not an ordinary human, but instead a cat girl. Robin isn't sure what is real and what is a dream after crossing paths with Belle, but one thing's for sure, she has her sights set on him and will stop at nothing to be at his side. Of course, there's a lot more to the tale, which is about 40,000 words in length, but to say anything more would be criminal. The story might be a little on the short side, but it's beautifully written, very gripping and features some jaw-dropping revelations. So, while Sweetest Monster features a cute cat girl and has elements of a love story, it also has some very creepy undertones that will leave you on edge during even the most innocent scenes. Kudos to the writer for blending these different genres into a story that isn't just cohesive but also very engaging. Since this is a kinetic novel, there are no choices, branching stories or alternate endings, but adding any of these would have diluted the powerful tale. Sweetest Monster uses the Renpai engine and while it was obviously created with a minimal budget, it certainly doesn't feel like a low budget title. Thanks to some great character sprites and interesting backgrounds, the visuals look beautiful. The color palette used for the different scenes also adds a lot to the mood of the game, and the CGs look great despite there only being about 11 of them scattered throughout the game. The fact that the story is contained in only a handful of locations doesn't limit it in any way. The author also has such a way with words that she can paint quite a vivid picture of the events taking place, even while the actual visuals are primarily static. The game doesn't feature voice acting, but we found this preferable to poor voice acting that could easily have ruined the story and atmosphere. There aren't a ton of musical tracks either, but the 8 tunes you'll hear in the background are all really good and definitely contribute to the unique feel of the game. Likewise, the sound effects are really good, and some of the clips such as the wind and rain are downright shiver inducing when playing with a good pair of headphones. Although Sweetest Monster doesn't have a lot of replay value, you do unlock some nice extras after completing the game. These include an art gallery for viewing the CGs, a music box for listening to the background tracks and author's notes which offer some great insights about the story and characters. The game also features three achievements which can all be netted by simply finishing the story, along with some nice trading cards. At the end of the day, Sweetest Monster is certainly not the longest or most lavish kinetic novel we have ever read, but there's no doubt that its story will be one we won't soon forget. It is probably not going to be a title for everyone, and some of the content definitely pushes a few boundaries, but if you're looking for something that really stands out in this crowded genre, then this comes highly recommended. Just do yourself a favor and avoid any spoilers before playing, or it won't have the same impact. Thanks for joining me for this Sweetest Monster PC review. Remember to like, subscribe and share. Until next time.